Welcome back. Today, I'll show you how I put together this Namor cosplay I did for my son. To start, I picked up the Neymar armor pieces off of 3D Mon on Colts 3D. I'll put the description down below. The file came with the necklace, the belt, the arm, and the leg guards or the shins for the Namor cosplay. I went ahead and I printed all the pieces out. Once all the pieces were printed, I spray painted all the pieces with about one or two layers of gold paint. I then had to go ahead and apply blue painter's tape or green painter's tape in this case to all the pieces that required different paint. I needed royal blue on the necklace and royal green in the arm guards. For the royal blue areas, I applied this custom cans royal blue paint that I got online. This is what it looks like before having to remove the painter's tape from the piece. I put the pieces aside to let the paint dry and started working on the headpiece. I got this file from my fave models off of Colts 3D. The headpiece was a tad bit too big for the printer, so I had to split it down the middle and print and then two different pieces. It took a few hours, but once both prints were actually completed, I used 3D Gloop, which is a filament glue, to combine both pieces together. I went ahead and added wood filler in between the gaps and sanded it down and it repeated the process once or twice to make sure the line was completely removed from the headpiece itself. Once that line was no longer visible on the headpiece, I went ahead and I applied two coats of white primer to the piece getting it ready for the gold paint I was going to spray paint it with. This is what the piece looks like after applying about one or two coats of the gold. I had to add royal blue paint to small areas on the headpiece. I used the royal blue speed paint in all the small areas and cracks that I wanted to apply to the helmet. Took some time, but this is what the paint job looks like after applying the blue, the royal blue, to all the small areas. I think it was well worth the time. With the headpiece completely done, it should look something like this. Truth is, you can't be Namor without the ankle wings. So I had to apply them to my son's costume as well. All put together, this is what it looks like. Thanks for watching. If you want more, please like, comment, and subscribe.